happy Thursday, 13 October 2022. It's time for my movie watch list of the week. Up first is a movie from 2018, Bumblebee, which I think is about the Transformer Bumblebee from the Transformers movies, but this came out after those movies. Um, the ones with Shia LaBeouf are the ones I'm talking about. Uh, I heard of this and that this was in the makes, but then I didn't ever see it. So, gotta get around to seeing it now. So, I have not seen this. I have not seen any of the movies this week. So, this is a fresh, fresh batch in terms of four movies for the week. I have never seen it. Or, that's, that's a poor way of phrasing it. Four movies for this week I have not seen yet because I'm, I'm about to watch these. All right. Up next is Catch-22, 2019. I read the book Catch-22 as part of the mother-daughter book club. It was not my choice. I, I think it was, if I'm recalling correctly, it was the choice of a devout Catholic. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Um, so getting around to watching a movie adaptation of Catch-22. At least I think it's a, yeah, it's based on the book or loosely adapted on the book. Yes. Based on the acclaimed Joseph Heller novel. So there we go. Yeah. I've read the book for a book club. And then up next, I heard about this being made, the rocket man. So this is a 2019 movie as well. Elton John was not big here, so I'm in the city of Shoreline, which is northern suburbs of Seattle, Washington State. He was not, like, this is, <laughs> this is David Bowie territory, not Elton John territory. I don't think, there was, like, Elton John was just an, a no-go here, culturally, not a fit. Um, I, to date, have not listened to a song by him like that he's saying kind of thing. So, well, if I'm, I'm not a fan of the musical artist, why not watch a movie, right? It's it's not the person, right? Kind of thing. And not that I, I don't like him, just culturally it was not a fit and was not interested. So a movie is a good, you know, what? Is it about two hours, two and a half hours or something like that? Yeah, it says 121 minutes, so just over two hours. Um. Yeah, so that's a good way to hope, potentially learn something, depending on how much accuracy is included in the movie. And then up last, Eight Men Out is about the 1919 Chicago White Sox scandals. This is a baseball movie. I chose it because I live in the northern suburbs of Seattle, like I mentioned. And City of Shoreline. And the Seattle Mariners are doing amazing this year, if you don't know that, Seattle Mariners, that's our team. Woo, woo, go Mariners! So I was like, I might go for a movie I haven't seen in baseball. Like, I've seen The Sandlot, Angels in the Outfield, The Rookie, you know, kind of staples growing up. So I'm going to branch out and do something, something different. So it's just eight men out. And this is, woo, 19, 1988. This is before I was, this is like four years before I was born. It was before I was born. I don't actually know the year. I that That's based on the book jacket. It's 1980. I will look up the years of these movies and put the year and the name of the movie in the video description. And that is four movies I have not seen for my movie watch list the week of 13 October 2022. Happy watching!